I've got the Ranger pulled outside after finishing up the tilt hood for our Johnny, and we'll uh, show you a little bit more in depth. I really didn't uh, get a lot of video on this project, uh, working on it for this YouTube. I kind of got some making the frame that's up in there bolted to the hood. Uh, but we'll go ahead and show you in this video here, kind of um, my design that I came up with. The customer requested they wanted this thing to be able to slide out and tilt forward um, to be able to ever, if they have to work on the engine, work on radiator, anything up front, be able to have enough room um before this thing had hood pins where all of these machined aluminum uh i guess body mount things are i don't know what you really call them but there was hood pins here before um three of them and they went different directions so the hood was very difficult to get off took two people and even with two people it was very difficult now um the hood i can open it by myself so one person um it tilts up it's got to stop so you can lean it forward um, all that stuff. Um, if you look in here, I'll show you once we get it all opened up as well. But there's kind of like a pillow block design with some Delrin bushings. And then here is um, a rod that is the slide. And there's a hinge up on the other side that the framework is bolted to. So I'll uh, get my camera set up here and go ahead and uh, get it opened up. And then we'll show you a better look uh, with it all opened up as well. So I gotta go ahead and pop the latches that are holding uh, the hood down back here. And then once those are free, um, first thing you need to do is pull it out to clearance uh, the front part here. So there's a spot to reach through the grill. And pull it out like so. And just like that lean it forward and the stops catch it so there we go uh it's on the stops it's leaning forward there is more room for it to pull out and slide out further yet um that's not fully extended but we'll give you a little bit of a look here at the framework under there that's uh all bolted to the fiberglass so you can see the um those aluminum blocks are bolted to those standoffs and that's how it is uh, attached. And that's what's holding the weight as it's uh, leaned forward. And then when the thing is down, the front end is being held in with that pillow blocks. Um, and then these locate with some knobs that are on that piece. They locate in there and then they have the latches that hold it down. So yeah, that is the fiberglass I guess like a pre-runner fiberglass front clip, um, tilt forward hood design. You can get a little better idea now of what's in there. Everything is Delrin bushings. So the pillow block design in here, those are Delrin bushings on either side. This rod slides through those. Inside of here, there's a Delrin bushing with a bolt going through here. This tube is just to help keep things aligned and supported and keep it as you push the thing in and out. So what I do is I stick my hands through these inserts and you can grab this bar and push it in and out when it is in the down position. So um, the only thing with how big this tilt hood is and or how big the fiberglass is, is I can't fully open it in my shop in here. So I had, I was wedging it kind of, you can actually see my little nick right there that corner was going into my roof line. So it's a little big for uh, just a standard garage, but regardless, the reality was if you're ever in the dunes and you need to check something, do whatever, just even change your oil. Uh, this thing, it required two people to take the hood off before. So now it is um, manageable for one person to work on this thing, service this thing, lift the hood up. If you're in the dunes and you need to check something, you're overheating or whatever you could actually be able to get out and pop this thing forward. So anyways, thanks for checking out a, uh, another project here at Dune Hoopy Machine. This Ranger is uh, getting picked up today and headed home. So 
if you're out in Silver Lake, you uh, probably will see this thing for the rest of the summer out ripping some dunes. And yeah, we'll see what's uh, coming up next on the channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.